In today's review then guys we shall be taking a look at the 2011 animated DreamWorks movie Puss in Boots so without further ado then guys let's get into today's animated review. So I thought that this movie was a decent prequel to the Shrek movies and offers us a very good background and a very good storyline to how Puss in Boots became the Puss in Boots we know in Shrek and I think it was, like I said, a decent movie. However, it doesn't match up to the original Shrek movies 1 and 2, that is. However, I do think it follows the trend of Shrek 3 and 4, which are a bit on the, the good. They were all right, but they're not up there. And I suppose it's hard to get back up there, but to me, I think it just showed uh, who Pussy Boots is as a character, and we learn more about him. As more of the face that runs the place in this in this scenario, and that we get to know more about him, some of the friends he hung around with, so what what background did he come from? As we don't really know much about him in Shrek, to be perfectly honest, apart from that he was a paid sort of uh, assassin, if you must. Also, I think by expanding the Shrek universe, I think it opened us up to more fairy tale creatures that we've known from watching the Shrek franchise. And it's opened the world up to more of them, as we saw the likes of Humpty Dumpty, Jack and uh, Jack from Jack of the Beanstalk. We saw Jill in there. It, it mashed a load of fairy tale creatures back in here, in which I thought was awesome. On Humpty as a villain, I feel that his uh, anger towards Pussy with Boots was jealousy fueled, and also because it was a revenge angle that he planned on Pussy Boots all this time. To basically turn on him as soon as he gets a golden goose and whatever. Because then he knows that this uh, the golden goose's mother will come down and destroy the town that he once loved. And obviously harm probably a few of the people in there as well. And I think that that was quite a build up because it was predictable. I think we always knew that he was going to turn on Puss in Boots with a few of his facial expressions at times. Like looking a bit dubious and and the fact that he is that sort of character that looked like he was only going to come back for revenge anyways and when it revealed at the end that he was everywhere following Pussy Boots even though when Pussy Boots didn't want to know about Humpty Dumpty he was there he was watching Pussy Boots all the time scanning him scouting him out and things like that and I thought that was that was quite creepy but it was a good little thing to put in there I also think the little romance angle between Pussy Boots and Kitty was really good and I think that will be exploited in the second movie in which um, isn't out in the UK yet so I haven't managed to go and watch it so but I think that will probably be exploited in the second movie and I think that there's something there in in that romance angle which uh, I think will be good over time and maybe something's going to go down in the second movie whereabouts that... Um, they're going to get together, but then they're going to split up. Because obviously in Shrek movies, we don't know anything about Kitty and anything about her or any of his backstory. So it's going to be a wonder to see how he gets to Far Far Away and builds up to the to, to the Shrek franchise a little bit closer. But we'll, we'll see over time how DreamWorks are going to work the angle to get uh, Pussy Boots up to the point where he's going to meet Shrek. I think that as, as a whole, I think this movie really flowed well and considering the fact that I think that Puss in Boots was probably regarded as a secondary character in the Shrek movies, I think he really shone in this movie and I think that was mainly because of the actors and actresses used in this movie. As we saw the likes of Antonio Banderas, Salma Hayek, Zach Galifrakis, Amy Sedaris and, and Billy Bob Thornton and I think all of those did phenomenal but to me my personal favorites were Antonio Banderas, uh, Selma Hayek as they were fantastic and they've been in everything and they were just brilliant in this particular movie some romantic stuff going on between them in this particular movie and I think it just fitted all together and played the characters and nobody else could have played their voices in my opinion as you've got their voices actually in your mind of how they should sound and I think they did a, a fantastic job and, and I think also Zach was, was amazing as a villain I think he portrayed that, that and I didn't really think Zach would be capable of playing that villain element of things but he he did a cracking job uh, no pun intended because he's Humpty Dumpty uh, but you know he did a great job 
and can't wait to see where the franchise goes next in the second Puss in Boots movie, which I haven't watched yet. So to summarize this animated DreamWorks movie then, and the prequel to the Shrek franchise, I believe that this is a 6.9 out of 10 and a average film. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this particular movie. And also if you agree or disagree with anything, get in the comments down below, please. Also, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be alerted to all the new content this channel creates. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Layers.